Yo, what up? My name is Mitz. I recently read this book from Wim Hoffman, aka Iceman. Now, as you probably already figured out from the intro what the video is about, let me explain some more. So the main thing is, it's a 30-day challenge of the Wim Hof method. I'll explain the method in a minute, but the reason why I'm doing this challenge is the following. Number one, I want to know if the method really works and if there's any positive benefits to it. Number two, I have an autoimmune disease called alopecia where my hair falls off. Actually, it's 25 years ago, but still going on. This method is supposed to be a cure for a lot of different autoimmune diseases. So I think that's a pretty interesting thing. Number three, I really love the mental challenge of doing uncomfortable things. And cold water is for sure an uncomfortable thing. And number four, I really wanna share this with you to inspire and motivate you to do something similar because I already know 100% sure that this is gonna work. Let's go take a closer look on the method and the science behind it. So the Wim Hof method is basically pretty simple. It's breathing, cold therapy, and commitment. Breathing. So the idea is that you take 30 to 40 deep breaths pretty fast then you exhale all the air and just hold for as long as you can hold it when you feel the urge to breathe you take a deep breath and hold it for about 15 seconds and this is the whole exercise then you just repeat it three to four times the thing that happens when you breathe excessively the oxygen levels in your blood rises and the carbon dioxide levels go down. This is supposed to have health benefits for you because your blood gets more alkaline. The pH level drops. There's been some studies about this and it's very clear that the pH level really does change in your blood. The thing that people can't really be sure about is if it's really benefiting in the long time because the body usually starts to adapt really fast after these kind of things. Wim says that this breathing technique gives you more energy, reduces stress, and somehow infects your immune system to fight pathogens better. All the science can't really agree with this, but there are a lot of signs that this might be at least partially true. Cold therapy. It's not a new thing that cold therapy could be beneficial for your health. A lot of athletes do this and people have been going in ice baths for forever. This is kind of a no-brainer. If you've ever tried going in cold water, you know that when you get out of the water, you're just gonna feel great. In addition to just feeling great, getting endorphins and stuff like brain chemicals, it's supposed to help your immune system, get your stress levels down, help you with sleep and balance hormone levels. Sounds pretty amazing. And the last one, commitment. So it all comes down to your mind. When you really focus all your energy to doing the breathing exercise, to doing the cold thing, you will make some changes in your brain. It's very similar to meditation. When you have the commitment to really focus on your mind and body, you will eventually learn to master your mind and body. That I think is the biggest lesson of the whole Wim Hof method. Okay, let's start this challenge. Today is 11th of February and 30 days starts now. I'm gonna do the breathing exercise and then I'm gonna time how long I can hold the breath. So. Okay, that was interesting. I could hold my breath for 1 minute and 20 seconds. It's supposed to increase, so we, let's go with round 2. Okay, feeling a bit tingly. This time I could hold my breath for 1 minute 47 seconds. 
So let's go round three. One thing is for sure, you get some kind of high out of this. My hands are tingling, my face is tingling. It's kind of, you get this, I don't know how to explain it. It's slow motion feeling. And this time I could hold my breath for two minutes and three seconds without any air in the lungs. And I think that's pretty amazing because it's something that you don't really think is possible. And then the feeling after this, it's, it's like your blood just starts flowing a lot more, but still your heart is, my heart rate is much lower. Can't explain it, but I think it's a very good start. So now to the next one. Okay, now for the second part, 30 second cold shower after a warm shower. Ooh. 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 I have to say, the cold water is fucking annoying, but after a little while, it kind of feels good and you get used to it so after this first time I feel like it's mostly a mental bar barrier before the cold hits first day done it feels good okay so life doesn't always go as planned and I've caught a cold feeling a bit shitty at the moment so i'm gonna give up the challenge let's do some breathings and see what it does <clears throat> okay i'd say it did something because i felt really good I Actually, it's not feeling so bad in my throat anymore. I'll keep doing these things for a few days and then I know more. Yo, what up? So I think the breathing exercise is really helpful if you get a flu because it's only two days after I felt completely like shit. Now I'm pretty much back to normal. So pretty amazing stuff. The thing I want to show you now is the app. You get uh, like five breathing sessions for free and then you have to pay. But at least to just try it out, I think Wim Hoffman has a pretty soothing voice. So it kind of makes it easier. This app is built pretty good. There's like these challenges, beginner's guide, push-up challenge, reverse challenge, plank challenge all kind of challenges it, it's pretty cool that you have all these kind of things it's it's not like a really basic app but the thing that i like the most is the breathing exercise and here you have these warning things that are really handy because it really feels that you might pass out if you if you're doing it like full on you might actually pass out from just breathing and that's yeah you can choose the speed of the breathing pace which I think is good I usually put it on slow and then breathes before retention you just choose this and then the app tells you when to stop breathing and then it starts the timer of how long you have the retention and then you just double tap on the screen when you're done and the next round starts okay so let's do a quick breathing exercise for you to also hear what it sounds like
Okay, so the app, I think it's great. The more you do it, the better you feel. For sure, you get high and it's free. <laughs> I had this small flu kind of symptoms four days ago and then it kind of went away so I figured that yeah everything's fine and I can just keep on doing all the cold therapy things and stuff like that but now I'm feeling like shit like no power and my body temperature is lower than normal and it's it's kind of confusing and but on the other hand it's teaching me a lot like doing a challenge like this for 30 days i never really thought about the process like how it's gonna really end up but now i see that life is mysterious and there's so many things that you just can't plan and you can't control how they work out Actually, I went swimming yesterday to a public pool and there's this cold pool and I, I really enjoyed it and it, it was really good. And afterwards I felt really great. But this morning I didn't feel so great. So and I also checked on the Wim Hoffman website what they say if you get if you get a flu or a cold and they suggest that you continue doing the breathing exercises, but stop doing the cold because the cold always stresses your body and if you have a flu or some virus bacteria thing it's already stressed so too much stress and it can just worsen it so it's a it's a lesson for me and i think this is the main point that wim always says don't force anything and i kind of have a problem with being sick because I just hate it. It's like one of those things that I really hate in life when I want to do something and I have the motivation to do something and then the physiological thing just happens that you don't have the energy and you just break down. On the other hand, I think this brings a little bit more value to this whole challenge. Now I'm just gonna continue doing the breathing exercises and I'll update some more when I feel better. So. <coughs> I still feel a little bit sick and the past few days have been pretty interesting. I don't have a fever and my body temperature is pretty okay like 36 degrees celsius i started wondering why i got sick in the first place as i said earlier that i went to the public swimming pool and i went to the cold pool i stayed there for quite a while much longer than ever before it mainly felt really good but there was one thing that didn't feel so good and that was this area here. I also have like a sore throat now. I started wondering why. And then I remember that always was when I was a kid and all also growing up in Finland, we have this winter, <laughs> clearly. I always believed that if you get cold around here, you get sick. Is it just my body believes that you get sick from getting cold around here? And that's why I get the symptoms. It might sound strange, but there's this thing called neuroplasticity. It's basically your neurons that fire together, wire together. Maybe an easier way to see it is if you believe something and you have a strong feeling about it, your brain starts to actually believe it and function accordingly. And this is not always a good thing because many people have problems, symptoms that they don't really can explain and uh, doctors can explain it. It's in recent years, this neuroplasticity has advanced a lot. So I actually started reading a book on this 
topic yesterday and and it it just clicked in my head that it it might be as crazy as me believing that this part of my body if it gets cold and i have many memories of of this happening like i always have a jacket or a hoodie or something to cover up this area and this area is also the one that feels the most cold when I go submerged in water so this whole thing kind of got a different turn that I ever expected it to be but that's a nice thing with these challenges you learn something new and I have to say that I was pretty naive going into this thing and didn't actually think that there was gonna be any problems I still continue doing the breathing exercise because I feel that that, that's a really good thing. You really feel good after it and something happens in your body. I'm slowly gonna start doing the cold exercises again when my body feels like it. So I have to have a small hold on that. Amazing weather. I want to try out this one exercise that is on the Wim Hofman app and that's as simple as putting your hand in a bowl full of ice water and apparently 30-40 seconds and your hand is gonna adapt to the temperature which feels pretty crazy but let's try it so the way it works is that you do a couple of deep breathings and then you just submerge your hand. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna time it. The main thing is to just focus on your breath. One minute. And actually it doesn't feel that bad. I kind of feel warm in the body, something's happening. I feel like my ears are getting warm. My body is definitely doing something. And the hand doesn't really feel that cold anymore. So I think maximum two minutes is pretty good. Okay, the hand feels a little bit stiff as you would Thing, but it actually felt pretty good to have it submerged once you just kind of let go and get used to it. I think the main purpose with this exercise is that you get the mental exercise for what it's gonna be when you submerge your full body. I think it's a pretty good thing. It it actually feels really good in the hands afterwards. So. Yo, what up? Pretty beautiful day. So I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a stealth mission into the swimming area with this. So let's see if, if I can get shot the cold swimming pool. Every time after the cold, 
feel so damn good. Three weeks done of the Wim Hof challenge. I have to say it, it's been a pretty interesting ride. So long, it, I see good signs. But now I wanna try to do this push-up challenge. And it's pretty basic. You do one round of the breathing exercise, you hold your breath and try to do as many push-ups as possible. So let's see how it goes. Oh man, 25. I don't know if I've ever done 25 push-ups before in a row. I don't think so. Whew. And the weird thing is it didn't really feel like it wasn't that heavy to do the push-ups. The only thing was that you get the urge of breathing. <laughs> I think, I don't know, It's. I think it's great. Especially if you want to just challenge yourself and see what your body can do. This is something I really can't explain it, but it it feels good to do these kind of things. One more week, let's see. Okay, final day of the challenge. I've come to our summer house. We still got the lake frozen. I've made an ice hole. As you guessed it, it's swimming time. I'm kind of excited. Let's begin. And of course, because I'm Finnish, to make it a little bit easier and more comfortable to swim in the really cold water, I have the sauna warming up. It's gonna be amazing. Last time of the challenge, let's do the breathing exercise to get the body in the most adaptive state to be able to really enjoy the cold. Let's go. Every time there's a small mental barrier to start doing the breathing exercise, but every, every time after you're done, it feels so good. It just, it feels so good. And I just want to remind you, if you're gonna go in the cold water, even if you just take a dip, you should never ever do it alone. You never know. If you get in a shock or something, you might not be able to get out of the water yourself. So the most important thing, always have somebody to watch over you. Also, never force yourself. If it doesn't feel that good, just come out of the water. You have to be mentally prepared. Nice weather! Dee -dee -dee.
No problem. Very nice. The cold kind of fades away and it starts to feel pretty good. Nothing else happened, at least I'm starting to look like Wim Hoffman. <laughs> it feels so damn good. I, I don't know what to say. Before, I would never have thought that I'd be able to do this, but now I feel so much mentally stronger and I'm for sure gonna keep on doing these things. Now back to the sauna. It's now been two weeks since I finished the challenge, but I have to say that I've, I've been doing the exercises almost every day, still. It's, it's so good. I just wanna share some things that I learned through this challenge. And let's start with the breathing. I think the breathing is probably one of the harder parts of this challenge, because you really need the willpower to do it, to start doing it. It's a little bit heavy to do, but then you feel so good after. So you kind of have to put some effort, 30 days, and then you start wanting to do it. That's what happened to me. It's like every chance I get, I try to do some kind of breathing exercise. And it's, it's really good, especially if you're super stressed and tired, you can really feel it and, and that's, the best time to do it for sure. It's suggested that you do the breathing exercise before you eat anything, so in the morning, but for me it's not very convenient, so I started a habit to do it just before lunch. Breathing exercise, and then I do a meditation right after. It's so good. The meditation just gets so much better after the breathing exercise. It feels like your head is already empty, and then you can just meditate. That's a really good thing. Also, the tingling and the feeling kind of high kind of fades away. I think you have to do like more, more breaths and do more rounds to really get to the same as you get in the beginning, but that's with everything. Then about the cold. I feel that it's almost easier to go into cold water than taking a cold shower. Because when you're in the warm shower, it's kind of difficult to get yourself to turn the switch to cold water because it's so comfortable with the warm water. But I'll say this again, every time you do it, you feel so good after. So I just usually do it. My ego says, don't do this. No, just chill, relax. Then I just decide, okay, I need to do this. It's really nice. Nowadays I can stand in the cold water and it doesn't really feel that bad. Practice makes perfect. And also after the ice hole swimming, when you really go to a natural cold water, nothing really feels that bad after that. So it, it kind of gives you tolerance and that's very nice. It feels really good to be in the cold water. And especially after you've done some workout, if you have like done some heavy lifting or heavy sports, it feels so good. And your muscles really, they heal much quicker. I haven't had sore muscles in since I started doing this. So it's, it's a very powerful thing, the cold water. So I suggest just start and keep on doing it. And then commitment. I think this is the thing that really works. It changes something. It's when you go to the cold, it changes something in your mind because I can say that I've become a tougher person just because of this experience. Small things in life don't feel that bad anymore. I just go through it. If I'm really tired, if I'm really just wanna lay on the sofa, but I know that I have to do something. Before, I would just have gone to the sofa and watch Netflix, but now 
my mind is prepared. It's like, okay, I can go in the cold. Of course I can do this easy thing. The commitment to do these kind of things on a regular, I believe that is the secret to this whole method. Because if you just do a few times, yeah, you're gonna feel something, but I don't think it's really changing so much. Then the biggest surprise, my hair thing, my alopecia. I don't have a macro camera, but I've actually started to grow some new, like super blonde, tiny baby hair in spots that haven't had hair in 25 years. So that's kind of like, fuck yeah. I think it has a lot to do with your mind, how this trains you to really be more effective, be a positive person. This became a little bit longer video than I thought, so thanks for still being here. So end conclusion, I'm recommending this book to everyone. I think it's a great life story of Wim Hoffman, pretty unordinary, kind of inspiring. He's a wild, wild person and a lot of good stuff. I know for sure that these breathing exercises and the cold therapy thing, it's gonna stay in my life probably forever. I don't see any point why I wouldn't do these things. It, they really made a positive impact on my life. And that was the whole idea with this experiment challenge. I wanted to see if it does benefit. And 30 days, I think it's pretty good time period to try out something and I learned so much of myself, all kinds of beliefs with cold and it, it was very interesting. And actually I read on the internet about some other dude who also tried this Wim Hof method and did it for a week and, and he started feeling so shit, like no power, no, just tired all the time. I think it just might be so powerful on your body that it kind of goes in a tilt mode a little bit. But if you just keep on doing, it's kind of like with everything, you have to adapt. And for me, it was, I, I think it was the adaptation that kind of made me sick without being sick. I didn't have any fever. I, like, I wasn't really, really sick. I was just super tired and just out of it. I'm really happy I did this. I hope you can like this video if you come this far and please subscribe to my channel if you're at all interested in things like this. I'm gonna do more challenges for sure. I already have a marathon coming up, so check that out. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day. Go to the cold water. It's just gonna make your day even better. Peace out. Yeah! I'm done!